in the next minute, I'm going to show you how to transform your photos from this into this, only by using the Canvas Power for editing tools. To get started, first of all, I'm going to sign in directly into Canva.com. I'm going to go into the right side, sign in directly, and go directly into create a design. There's two ways that you can edit an image. An easiest way, the fast way of course, and the customization way. So if I go here for, let's say, the section that says upload, it's going to be asking me to upload a photo, a document, a file, or a video so we can start editing the tool. So if I upload my image, you can see that we have automatically desist using a do design and edit the image. If I click into edit the image, this should be sending me into the editor of the Canva where I can add effects, I can check out adjustments, and I can check out the crop version. To better respond to this kind of elements, what I can truly suggest you is to first of all doing this into a new design so you can have access to more tools. So if I go for upload once again, I choose my file, I choose my image once again, and instead of going with edit the image, let's go for used in a new design. So first of all, I'm going to change my custom size. This should be a post for Instagram. That's why I'm going to be using Instagram post square. I'm going to go for OK. And you can see that my image needs to be filled into my whole element. That is why, first of all, I'm going to start by cropping my photo. So if I clicked here into the upper side, we can see that we have elements that we can use for the current element that we are watching. Let's go here where it says crop. Into crop, I'm gonna go for one by one. I'm gonna to try to zoom this a little bit more. Now let's move this into the corner and fill this entire section. There we go. Next thing to do is now to open the edition tools. So I'm gonna click here and look out for edit. Now we can see exactly the same adjustment colors that we saw into the previous section. Let's first of all start with adjust. If you feel a little bit lazy and you just want a quick filtering effect um, by yourself, automatically just click into auto adjust. And the auto adjust should be doing uh, its work automatically. So you can see it didn't look so bad. So you can just go for undo and redo. So you can see what is the style that we do have. But let's try something else. I'm gonna head back here into the undo edit once again and here let's go for adjust now here got the select area into the select area i can edit my whole image i can edit the foreground for example in my case the foreground is this character and i have the background the background is the back of it so let's say that i wanted to change first of all the background if i go for background here's the temperature let's do this a little bit colder now i'm going to go back and change the brightness. I'm going to make this a little bit less brighter and add a little bit of contrast. I'm going to try to change a little bit the highlights, less highlights and more shadows. Now the brightness and the saturation are what the colors are about. So saturation, let's go for 16 and the vibrance, let's go straight directly here. Now here I have the texture. If I want to make some sharpness, or less sharpness. In this case, I wanted to go for less sharpness. Leave this in zero. And if you want to add some by knit, you can do it. In my case, let's say just uh, 30. And there we go. Let's go all the way up and do the same thing now, but only for the foreground. So I think the temperature looks great. So I'm gonna just leave this in zeros contrast a little just a little bit less now into the sharpness i can make this a little bit more sharper and a little bit more clarity now head to the upper side and go for whole image into whole image i'm going to change the tint for something a little bit more there are more things that you can use for making a actual image look more greater so for example i can go for image to upscaler the image upscaler can be helping you to, of course, resize, upscale the resolution and make this look much more greater. So my image is already in high resolution, so you're going to try to upscale this two times better. So upscale your image, please wait while well, this could be taking a few minutes, and the process should be done automatically. Let's go back into edit. Here into edit, I have the magic eraser. And here I'm going to zoom a little bit more, and I'm going to delete this element of my background. I don't want you to see it. So I just drag it, I brush it, 
and I clicked into erased automatically the application is going to be working so everything that you have clicked in the is not going to be appearing to that and you can see that now this one looks much better you can do exactly the same thing with the rest of it but i think this one actually looks really great for me now i'm going to head into elements and let's see if we can add something into my image so into search elements let's say that i just add neon create the illusion that this tail is behind my character I'm going to select once again my image, I go for edit, and choose magic grab. Now the magic grab is going to be selecting the character or the element that you have into your image, and it automatically it's going to be filling what is behind my actual character or the element, so I can use this, so I can move it somewhere else. So you can see that now this character is outside the image, so I can move it wherever I want to. So that means that I can move this a little bit down and zoom it a little bit more. You can add overlays if you want to make your image looks a little bit much more interesting. So just select the overlay element you want to and resize it for the whole page like this. Now I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to move page number two to page number one and I'm going to upload my same image to compare what we have so far. Font combinations can be helping your image to look a little bit much more greater. For example, I added this one, which is Vortex. If you wanted to delete something that is inside your design, go for Position, Layers. And for example, let's say that I want to delete this element or change it for something else. So delete this element. I go for Element. Let's go for Angel Neon. And there we go. Lastly, what I just need to do is to go into Show, and Download, Make sure you have a really great size. Select the page which you like to export it. Go for done and go for download. JPG is better for sharing and to upload it into social media, but that is totally up to you. And that guys is how we can actually do the final editing. We come from this into this. There are a lot of things that we can do using the Canva tools. But that is totally up to you to figure it out what are the elements you would like to see or not into your editor of Canva. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you find this helpful, don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button for more, for more design and editing tips. Thank you for watching this video once again, and hopefully we can all see you next time.